Welcome to another Beach Talk with Gig Harbor Boatworks. Our subject for the day is the 14-foot wide hull, which is our best choice for a single sliding seat rowboat. This thing kind of strikes the balance between uh, weight carrying ability and performance. The uh, wide hull was developed originally in the New York, Boston area uh, back in the 1700s, 1800s. Its intended use was as a harbor taxi. So uh, the boat had to be capable of uh, hauling a fair amount of weight, it had to be capable of going fast, but it also needed to be able to handle some, uh, some rougher water. It's not by any means a surf dory, but it can certainly get out into the swells and play a little bit. As with the rest of our boats, we like to maintain the design aesthetic uh, that was developed back in the age of sail while taking full advantage of modern materials and craftsmanship. So you know, looking at the white hull, you can see it has the uh, lap strake effect um, still visible on the hull above the waterline. And then we fared it, on, fared it in below the waterline for a smoother bottom and, and, and a faster boat. Nowadays, we don't uh, need quite that much uh, ruggedness in our boats. We just want to go out maybe with a dog and enjoy the afternoon on the water for a while. And the boat is absolutely superb for that. The same characteristics that, that made it such a versatile boat back in the day uh, makes, make it a very useful and comfortable boat now. It has a single sliding seat. The base boat comes with an adjustable seat. You can use it in the fixed center position. You can move it to the aft position if you want it to row tandem. You still have the same versatility you do uh, with the sliding seat, just without quite as much motion. Sliding is great when you actually want to row. Uh, fixed is better for just about anything else. <laughs> We don't quite have enough room for two sliding seats in this boat, so uh, you, can, you can row it with two fixed or uh, with one either fixed or sliding. Uh, the Whitehall was the original boat uh, we built that had the sliding system in it. Um, as we started developing other boats that were suitable, we started adapting the seat uh, to those boats as well. It ended up in the Jersey Skiff and then the Melon Seed and now in the Voyager. Um, having two people on sliding seats launches a boat and the melon seed really uh, really shines in that aspect. The Whitehall also makes a very nice sailboat. It's certainly not what the boat was built for, but if you have uh, room to run in a nice day, if you, you can put up the sail rig and it's absolutely lovely, just uh, fast and sleek and you can uh, just kick back and enjoy the breeze in your hair for, uh, for a while. Uh, the white hull shares a rig with our Point Defiance. Unfortunately, we don't have a sailing white hull to show off at the moment, but the uh, Point Defiance rig is virtually identical to what would go into this boat. Because it does have such great rowing characteristics, it tracks well, plenty of speed in a straight line, fairly low freeboard. That kind of is counter to what you want in a sailboat. So this is a rowboat, which you can take out for a sail every once in a while. Other features that are reminiscent of the original are the wine glass transom, which gives us a wonderful clean release at the water. Um, there's very, very little drag back there when you, uh, when you get the boat up to speed and you start rowing, it's a long time before it stops. Um, unfortunately, that means that it's not a motorboat. You can hang a small outboard on it, but uh, it's not really what it's designed for. As far as construction details on this boat, uh, this particular uh, model is uh, decked out with a wood trim, which is an absolutely lovely upgrade. The standard boat comes with a vinyl rub rail, which uh, keeps the maintenance to an absolute minimum and uh, is just a no-fuss way of getting out on the water. The Whitehall is a fantastic rowboat for one or two people. It's a boat that you can get comfortable in for an afternoon if you just want to hang out on the lake. It's a boat that you can get some serious exercise in if you want to go uh, work out some uh, kinks. 